In Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. signature line so we whited those out in case there was any Mr. Lockhart I'm looking at 17299 I'm looking at two police statements have you gone over these documents yes your honor and there's some conditions attached to the documents. Have you gone over that as well? Yes, Your Honor. Have you signed all these documents? Yes, Your Honor. Do you feel you understand what's set out in these papers? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand the charges against you and the range of penalties if you're convicted? Yes, Your Honor. In 17 299, are you pleading guilty to residential burglary, theft of property, and criminal mischief in the first degree? Yes, Your Honor. In 17 293, are you pleading guilty to possession of drug paraphernalia and obstructing governmental operations? Yes, Your Honor. By entering these pleas, you're giving up your right to have a trial, and you also cannot appeal. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Are you entering your plea freely and voluntarily? Yes, Your Honor. Other than what's in these documents, have you been promised anything in order to get you to change your plea? Uh, no, Your Honor. Has anyone pressured you or threatened you to get you to change your plea? No, Your Honor. And uh, are you, in fact, guilty of these offenses? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Let's see what I've got here. <coughs> well, the, the information is not in the file in seventeen two ninety nine. Two ninety nine, Your Honor. Uh, back on September fifteenth of last year, uh, Mr. Lockhart, along with that Cody Cockrum entered the home of Robert Falk, uh, took property from the residence, and in the process caused damage to the property. Okay. Did you do that? Yes, Your Honor. And in 17293, it's drug paraphernalia obstructing governmental operations. What happened on that? Your Honor, in that case, on October 5th of last year, check and see if this was a, was a traffic stop by from the Harrison Police Department uh, while making contact with Mr. Lockhart. Uh, it was a 
discovered that Mr. Lockhart had an outstanding warrant out of Grant County and during a search of uh, Mr. Lockhart's vehicle incident to arrest, the uh, paraphernalia was located and I believe while they were making contact with Mr. Lockhart, he uh, provided a name of Brian Newman. Did you officer. do that? Yes, Your Honor. This time, sir, I accept your pleas and judge you guilty in 17299 for residential burglary and theft of property on each. You're sentenced to two years in the Department of Corrections. I'll make a recommendation of a judicial transfer to the Department of Community Corrections. Each will be followed by three years suspended imposition of sentence. For criminal mischief, you're sentenced to 30 days in the county jail. You pay restitution of $1,000, $200 in cost. $500 fine, a DNA fee of $250, and a $20 booking fee. Okay. In 17293, for possession of drug paraphernalia, you're sentenced to two years in the Department of Corrections with a recommendation of a judicial transfer, followed by three years suspended imposition of sentence. And for obstructing governmental operations, you're sentenced to 30 days in the county jail. You pay $200 in cost, a $500 fine. A DNA fee of 250, drug crime assessment of 125, and a $20 booking fee. Pay what you owe at the minimum rate of $100 per month, beginning within 60 days after your release from incarceration. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Corey Parton, 16-225. Judge, I spoke with Mr. Parton. Uh, there's, we're going to have to assign Mr. Parton to Mr. Pasting. Uh, however, I think the case will be for plea. Uh, I don't think the court is back until 4-13. And uh, I think that he's still got time under his detainer. Okay, we'll have uh, have in court on April 13th, 10 o'clock or soon thereafter as we can get to it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. State versus Michelle Shadell, 17-303. Theft by receiving paraphernalia, fleeing. Judge, she's one that uh, Mrs. Uh, Shadell was out on bond for this case and then was sentenced in Missouri um, on 11 17 of 17. She was issued an FTA, but she was. And the Missouri Department of Corrections. Uh, we would ask that her she be reinstated on her bond. Um, if the bondsman, I think we'll have to approve that because she was incarcerated between then and now. But the charge pending in Missouri was pending when she bonded out, so she didn't commit a new crime necessarily while she was out. She was just sentenced for that crime. So you're saying when. When was the latest? Yeah, I haven't been out a day. I went to Taney County from here and then Missouri Department of Corrections, and I've been there since October 4th, and I haven't been out a day since I was here incarcerated. How did, you, did we transfer her from the Missouri Department? State government on detainers, Your Honor, but it just so happened in the process of getting her here, her discharge date kicked in, and she's now going to be on parole out of yeah, Missouri. Yeah, I'm paroled out of Missouri, okay. and um, I'm going to a sober living house in Hollister. So you never originally bonded on this? Yes, I bonded. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, when was the alias issue? Uh, 1117 is what I show you, Your Honor, of 17. Judge, we may need to see if there's a bond sheet. Because Never mind. There's not an FTA, Judge. I, right. It says FTA, no warrant issued. I apologize. There was a bond sheet. Is, is there one? Yeah, it's in the file. It's not. Okay. And Judge, I would just ask that because she had made bond and didn't they're violate willing to that. stay on it, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just have to call them and they'll come down. They'll have to, they'll have to I think they have to redo the paperwork, but they don't have to pay them no money. She's oh, she's not? Well, maybe we need to do that. Let me see here. I just put that in. So I need to get a hold of bonds. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and they, 
Well, we'll enter a not guilty plea in the case. Schedule it out. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Harness Boots and Shoes in downtown Harrison remains the leader in the most popular and durable footwear for women, men, and children. For the ladies, Harness Boots and Shoes features a wide variety of Birkenstocks and Birkenstock socks, plus winter boots from Merrill and Mucks, as well as Twisted X and Short Boots. For you men, Harness Boots and Shoes brings you the best variety in the area for work, dress, and casual wear including brands such as Justin, Double H, Rocky, Georgia, and Wolverine. And the boys and girls have a wide selection to browse through too. Harness boots and shoes with outstanding customer service matched with layaway and free gift wrapping all year round. It sure is a shopping experience that will bring you back time and time again. Harness boots and shoes, 870-741-5750, or come on down and look for the big red boot on the square at downtown Harrison. Sam Alexander Pharmacy has expanded and is now offering many additional products and services. Their new pharmaceutical compounding area allows them to create products to fit the unique needs of a customer. They also have added Spinco Orthotic Shoes and Sandals, Dr. Comfort Diabetic Shoes, Baby Gifts by Aiden and Anias, and Toys by Melissa and Doug. Stop in today and let them help you with any of your specialty pharmaceutical needs. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, your local Health Mart Pharmacy in Harrison. Eighteen dash ninety one State versus Jesse Thomas. Theft of lease rented or entrusted personal property. Okay. Judge on Mr. Thomas, we've not been appointed, but uh, I did speak with Mr. Thomas just to make sure that he understood what he was doing and he does. He's articulate and intelligent, but he is technically pro se, but I did. Um, just as a courtesy, go go okay. over what, what the state had offered. Okay. I don't know if I need to be appointed first or however we do it. Just well, what's what's going to happen here? He's going to plea. Okay. Uh, to the, both plea the, the plea, uh, Your Honor, uh, anticipates uh, Mr. Shadle, uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, being sentenced to a term in the Department of Corrections that will run concurrent with his current sentence in Wyoming. And based on the math, we believe we have it to where it does run concurrent. You won't have any additional time to serve in Arkansas once he completes his Wyoming sentence. Was that your understanding? Yes, Your Honor. Our uh, plea does have a suspended sentence following the ADC time to pay restitution, fines, and costs. Okay. Well, well if you just hand me the paperwork, I'll... And, uh, I just wrote my name. And I was okay. Standing, I guess by this, All right. Because I did advise him. Are there, are there two cases? Uh, there's one Boone County and one Marion County. Oh, okay. And Judge, I do have a copy of the information. What, what's the Marion County case number? That number, Your Honor, is. Marion County is over here. Let's pull it back up real quick. 
Sir, I'm looking at two police statements here. Have you gone over these documents? Yes, Your Honor, I have. And there's, there's conditions of suspension attached to the yes, Your Honor. documents, so you've gone over them and, and signed both? Yes, the no contact orders. Is that what you're referring right. to? The no, the no contact order, is that what you're referring to? Uh, I was talking about these police statements. Oh, yes, I've gone over those, Your Honor. You've signed them? Yes, sir. Do you feel you understand what's in these documents? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand the, the charges against you and the range of penalties if you were convicted? Absolutely, Your Honor. Okay, and in Marion County, CR 18-3, are you pleading guilty to theft of property? Yes, Your Honor. In Boone County, CR 18-91, are you pleading guilty to theft of rented property? Yes, Your Honor. When you plead guilty, you give up your right to a trial and you give up your right to an appeal. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Absolutely, Your Honor. Other than what is in these documents, has anyone promised you anything to get you to change your plea? No, Your Honor. Has anyone uh, threatened you or pressured you to get you to change your plea? No, Your Honor. And you, you're, uh, in fact, guilty of these crimes? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Let's see. Well, I don't have enough in here to get a factual basis. That's fine, Your Honor. In the Marion County case, um, looks like on May 21st of 2013, a complaint was taken by Marion County Sheriff's Office regarding a um, property being rented from Aaron's rent to own. This is in Marion County. It says it, yeah. Although it does say the Aaron's is located in Harrison, they rented the property from there. We were living in Marion County. It was right in front of the Aaron's in Harrison, but we were living in Marion County, right on the border in Payette. And it was a front-loading washer, front-loading dryer at a range. My roommates had moved out, and I didn't. I before they were allowed to come and get that property, I took it and sold it. Yeah, and it's actually charged as a theft of property, not a theft of the rented property. So in Marion County, they're not alleging the theft of it from the rental prop store, but from the residence where the property was at, which was in Marion County. Was that your understanding? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. In the Boone County case, however, uh, it is theft of rented property back in June of 2013. From a castle rental? Yeah, Mr. Thomas rented uh, some property from Castle Rental and Pond and did not return or pay for the property. Okay. And that's correct? Yes, Your Honor. This time I'll accept your plea as a judge you guilty in the Marion County case 18-3. Uh, judge, I think that docket number may be 18-30. 30, you say? Yes, sir. You'll be sentenced to serve nine months in our Arkansas Department of Correction, followed by 63 months of spending in position of sentence. You'll be concurrent with your with the Boone County case and concurrent with the sentence you're serving in Wyoming. Yes, Your Honor. You'll pay a fine of $2,000, $200 in cost, $20 booking fee, a DNA fine of $250, and $2,000 in restitution. In Boone County, I'll find you guilty sentenced to nine months in the Arkansas Department of Correction, followed by 75 months suspended in position of sentence. But again, the sentence will run concurrent with the, the Marion County case and your Wyoming sentence. You'll have no contact with the rental company. You'll pay. I wonder how we determine restitution. We're not double dipping on him here, are we? No, because um, it's separate property. Oh. It's, it's not the same property that he was with in Marion County that was rented from Boone County. Ah, I see. Is that right? Yes, Ron. Okay. You pay $5,186.78 in restitution, $1,795.38 in extradition cost, $200 in cost, a $500 fine, a DNA fee of $250, a $20 booking fee, Pay what you owe at a minimum rate of $100 per month beginning within 60 days after your release. Now, Boone County has to transport me back to Wyoming. And should we, is there any other fines I'm going to get incurred for? Because that extradition cost was just for the trip down here, I believe. That's right. 
We're obligated under the IED to take you back. Okay. And I was told that we couldn't handle, I have another Marion County warrant, but I got served that Marion County warrant yesterday here in Boone County in the jail. And they said I'd take care of it today, but it's just for a time pay. District court. I don't, I, I believe so. But they, they served it to me here and said I could take care of it all today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. We have, we have to check into that. I don't know if it's, yeah. if it's a. Uh, I know the amount. Can we just add the amount to my current restitution and. In the Marion County case? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, yes, sir. It's a... Uh, we could just Probably add, that's in a different court. Yeah. We just added that Marion, that 2000 I owe Marion County. Ben, could you just... Get, I was going to ask Judge Duffy on Monday if we could initiate a Skype call with Boone County. That way, Judge, you take a handle Mr. Uh, Jefferson... Thomas. Thomas's case. Uh, but if we, could just, if we could just add it to the Marion County that I just pled to, it would simplify things. Yeah, it, it's just different courts, different. The they apparently can take care of it on Monday. Okay. But via Skype. All right. Yeah. Maybe just technically the money has to go to a different place. This is kind of a different thing. I don't have any authority yeah. in that court. I understand. I understand. All right. Well, good luck, sir. Thank you, sir. We need to go to another. We'll go to Michael Martin, 17-123, theft by receiving. Is there anything to be done in this case? Judge, there's not. I would ask if we could extend the plea deadline for Mr. Martin when I went to visit him yesterday at the jail. He was taken off to district court. And by the time I got up here to district court, he was taken back to okay. jail. So uh, he was an FTA in February, so I haven't got yep. a visit with him yet. The only problem with extending the plea deadline is that this is our last Friday docket before the current trial setting. Well, just I'll just leave it on the trial. Line. Leave my schedule done, please. It's all we knew today, sir. You may stand aside. Aggravated robbery. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. You have a lawyer, sir? Judge, we've been appointed on this. Okay. Street. Martinez, I believe he's here. My doctor reflects for the purpose of arraignment. With a way of a formal reading the information and a plea of not guilty. Okay. Uni, when will we be having pre-trials? May 11th. May 11th. We'll have a pre-trial on May 11th at 9.30 or soon thereafter as we can get to it. Thank you. Okay. So far. Okay, you may stand aside. Thank you. Is there any possibility of trying to get my blood reduced? Do you have any possibility of getting my blood reduced? Well, it's, it's up to your lawyer to, to make a motion to that regard. I don't know anything about the case. The judge, it said at $100,000. Your Honor, I have an affidavit here in my file if the court would like to review it. Well, apparently there's no motion, so we'll go to something else. You may stand I'll, aside. I'll visit with him, visit with the state. He says he's going to talk about 18 it. 18 1, Noah Mason, Fork, pretrial and burglary. <laughs> Sir, last time you were in court, you said you, a lawyer hadn't visited with you. Have, I assume they've came out by now. Judge, I uh, no, Your Honor, I have not seen the public center yet. I did not. How long you been in jail? Five months today. No public defender. No, sir. <clears throat> I'm going to bring you to the courthouse. If they won't go see you, I'll just bring you to them. Incredible. Thank you, Ron. Valerie Sane, also known as Valerie Olcott, 17201, which is a drug case, and she also has 18 65 forgery. To achieve my application, both if I can approach. Okay.
Ma'am, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. Let's see where we're at on this. Your Honor, 17-201 is a first appearance on a petition to revoke. Okay. 18-65 is an arraignment. And looking at 17-201, Your Honor, it looks like Judge Webb signed a police statement. Okay. All right, I'll have her appear before Judge Webb on, uh, let's see, <coughs> April 20th at 8.30. And, let's see. In 1865, she's for arraignment, Your Honor. We okay. have a formal reading in her plea okay. of not guilty. We'll enter the plea of not guilty. Have a uh, pre-trial on May 11th at 9:30. Anything else? No, Your Honor. I provided discovery to the defense on 18-65. Okay. You may stand aside, ma'am. We all need the help of a pharmacy from time to time. Sullivan Pharmacy would like to thank all their customers for supporting them as an independent local pharmacy. When you trade with an independent pharmacy, you deal with an owner that supports the local economy and charities. Visit Sullivan Pharmacy for any of your over-the-counter or prescription needs. It's important to keep helping those that help the community. Sullivan Pharmacy, 731 Main Street, Harrison, serving this area since 1965. Stop in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of 10 cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. Protect the plate now, Scotty. We've got a lot going on this spring. We could really use a new car. Did you say you could use a new car? Yeah. Come with me. Scotty, hustle up. And now's the time to get a great deal on a new Toyota. Oh, you mind? Sure. Here you go. OK. Here you go. Yeah. Right now, get $1,000 customer cash, or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a stylish new 2018 Corolla LE. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. State versus Michael Rollins, 18-68, communicating a false alarm. Sir, do you have a lawyer? He's made up. No, sir. Okay. Sir, I've appointed the public defender's office to represent you, and he appears for arraignment. How does he plead? Not guilty. We have a formal reading of the information. Okay. We'll have him before Judge Webb on April 20th, 830. In 17-303, we'll be transporting Michelle Shadell. Sir, you may stand sir. aside. Yes, sir. Is there any chance for a bond today? Well, if you don't have a bond, let me look and see what.
Did you have a, a 8.1 hearing at first appearance? Yes. And a bond wasn't set there? No, sir. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Bradford, do you know if a bond has been set on Judge, this? Judge, I'm case? not seeing uh, a bond setting on the affidavit, and I don't have a copy of the 8.1. Have you got a copy of the affidavit? I do. Is, does it have a bond on it? It's not. It was signed it by Judge Kirkpatrick. Okay. What's the recommended bond? Judge, I know it's classified as a Class D felony, but the allegation is that he made a bomb threat at the college. It resulted in an evacuation and cancellation of classes and ball games. Uh, the state would recommend a bond of not less than $25,000. Bond be set at 15000 no contact with the college. You may stand aside. 18-48, Ronald Petro, Jr., 16-153. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Who represents you, sir? Uh, Mr. Gibson. Okay. I've been appointed in the revocation, but we need appointed. He's made application. No. I have appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you in both cases. And let's see, we have a, do we have a hearing? Judge, I believe he had an appearance in front of Judge Webb, his last appearance to get on our scheduling order in this court. Uh, but revocation is based, at least in part, on the new charges. Uh, the state would ask for a hearing setting in your April Friday docket. We'll set the hearing in uh, on April 13th. Your Honor, I, I would ask uh, the court for uh, uh, to set a bond on my revocation. Oh, I'd rather not. Let's just leave it where we're at. It'd probably help you do, do, run up some time there. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Okay, you may stand aside. Thank you. 17-120, Linda Tucker. Okay, this is a revocation appearance. Yes, Your Honor, this is the first appearance on a petition to revoke. She was served with the warrant on March 13th, had an 8.1 on March 14th. Judge Webb did sign the sentencing order. Okay. have appointed the public defender's office to represent you and uh, how does she plead? Not true, Your Honor. Okay, we'll set a hearing on April 20th, 8.30. So I had a question. Um, 
on the day that they issued the revocation, they also gave me um, the Act 570 seven day sanction. Okay. And uh, so I was, I was expecting to get out on, on this and because I have a job waiting. I work at Tyson's and also um, going to court in Carroll County. I was trying to just um, take care of everything and not lose my job. So I, um, they gave me the 570. I thought I'd be released after the seven days. Okay. I'll have your lawyer and get in touch, talk to the prosecutor and get in touch with Judge Webb about that. Okay. 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 Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Fly higher, go further, do more. Take it to the next level with Polaris. Whether you're chasing unforgettable memories, manhandling a mountain of work, or pushing the limits of work and play, we've got the perfect machine built just for you. Now's the time to get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Spring Sales Event. Come see us at 824 North Main in Harrison. Crystal clear mountain streams, river rapids, and rolling hills with endless valleys. The beauty of the Ozarks we often take for granted. At Magnus Toyota, we never underestimate the value of our customers. As a third generation family owned business, Magnus Toyota has been operating here in the Ozarks for over 50 years. When we make a new deal, we make a new friend. Stop in and visit us today and see why our customers say we're the best. Magnus Toyota, your hometown Toyota dealer on Highway 65 North in Harrison. Control substances, driving charges. He's made application. in front of Judge Webb last week, but since I'm assuming they determined that this court had signed the sentencing order. Okay, he scheduled a hearing for today. Your play of not true. Let's see what to set another day. Judge, have. if we could set them for the, is it April 13th? April 13th. If we could set them for April 13th, we'd still okay. be within the 60 days. And All right, we'll set April 13th, 9.30 as soon as we can get to it. Your Honor? Yes. Can you set a bond on that? Does the state have a recommendation? Judge, according to the petition, he currently owes $1,545 on outstanding fines, costs, and fees, $142 towards supervision fees. So the state will recommend a cash bond in the amount of $2,000. Very well. I'll set that cash bond $2,000. Catch you up. James Wolf, 17323.
failure to register as a sex offender, domestic battery. Here for a pretrial. There's just no pretrial issues to take up. Okay, we'll leave it as scheduled. You may stand aside. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Kelly McDonald, 16 79, <coughs> revocation. Ma'am, do you have a lawyer? Uh, no, sir. Um, they just picked me up yesterday. They didn't really tell me anything, but I've been so sick lately. I think even about bone cancer or something. So I was just wondering if I can get a bond and I'll pay whatever. I don't know why they replicated me. I think it was because I went to the office and took off running because I got really sick. Well, let so. me look and see why. <clears throat> I believe if you look at the petition, the probation officer has a different version. Events. Alleged positive tests for controlled substances. Let me see. You did leave the office. Uh, couldn't find you at home. Rears and fines. Failure to make payments. That's the allegations. But you, you need a lawyer on this. Are you going to hire one or make application to public defender? Uh, I guess I'll make one. You what? I'll make a. I'll make uh, an appointment with um, a public defender. Okay, they should have some ap applications there at the uh, jail. If you'll fill them out, you can turn one in. Who signed the sentencing order? This court did. Okay. I'll schedule you to appear for uh, arraignment and attorney status on April 13th at uh, 9.30. You may stand aside. Yes, sir. Okay, let me see if I can find that. See if it's in the system. Okay, this is on a petition to revoke. Has he had an 8.1 hearing? Not that I'm aware of. Sir. Okay, you said you just picked him up. Okay, let me see what we got here. Well, hey, well you, you can bring him up or put him before the camera. Mr. Brandon, they tell me you've just been arrested. You're arrested for, on a petition to revoke a suspended sentence or probation. You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say might be used against you. You have a right to a lawyer. If you can't afford a lawyer, make application to the public defender's office. And if you qualify, we'll appoint a lawyer to represent you. While you're in jail, subject to the regulations of the sheriff's department, you have a right to communicate with your family, friends, and your attorney. And... Uh, Let's see, let me see what the allegations are. The allegations are possession of a firearm by certain persons and domestic battery. I'll set you to appear for attorney status and arraignment in Newton County to Newton County Courthouse at 10 o'clock on March 28th. That's all we can do today.
Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Engine threats lurk around every corner. Corrosion. Wear. And gunk. Stay ahead of engine threats with Shell V Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline. The best total engine protection you can get. Choose a breakthrough in premium gasoline. Many things have changed over the years and so has Auto Body Repair. Even though Ozark Auto Body has been in business for over 30 years, they continue to change with the times. They believe protecting the environment is important and have done so by using environmentally friendly waterborne paint from PPG. This aligns with the technology used by original manufacturers and gives you a lifetime limited warranty. Quality PPG waterborne paint, ASC certified personnel plus 24 hour towing service. Ozark Auto Body and Harrison always taking pride in excellence. Justin Vanderpool, 1692 and 17-19. Yeah, that matters for plea. Okay. I'm going to approach. You may. Is there anything in 1719? Or is it just Your, uh, a 16 case? Uh, 1719. Uh, the, we're going to move to dismiss that based on this okay. in this, in this matter. It's uh, there was some other property uh, from this from the same set of events. So the restitution set covers that. Slide that way. Okay. Sorry. Mr. Vanderpool, I'm looking at a, a police statement here. Have you gone over this, do this document? Yes, sir. And have you signed both it and the conditions of suspended sentence? Yes, sir. And you've gone over both of them and understand them? Uh, yes, sir. You understand the charges against you and the range of penalties if you're convicted? Yes, sir. Are you pleading guilty to two counts of theft by receiving uh, class C felonies, one count of theft by receiving a class, or I'm sorry, also, two counts of theft by receiving a Class D felony, theft by receiving a misdemeanor, three counts, manufacturing marijuana, a Class D felony? Yes, sir. But doing so, you're giving up your right to have a trial and you're giving up your right to an appeal. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. Have you been promised anything other than what's in these documents? No, sir. Has anyone pressured you or threatened you to get you to change your plea? No, sir. And are you pleading guilty because you are in fact guilty? Yes, sir. What's the factual basis for this? Uh, Your Honor, this is gentleman named Ronald Townsend that uh, owns a uh, vacation home in the Newton County area. Mr. Townsend reported that uh, he had a number of items that had been stolen uh, from his residence. He was able to identify those items as a, uh, a tractor. Uh, there was an all-terrain vehicle uh, as well as a... Uh, a number of sporting good items, uh, a couple of canoes and some fishing rods and other things like that. Um, <coughs> deputies on about the 6th day of September 2016, some deputies were driving past Castleberry Corner, which is uh, where Mr. Vanderpool was residing at that time. On the corner, they observed marijuana growing in what the state would, would say we could establish was uh, growing in uh, plain view at the corner of his, of his uh, yard. The deputies went into the yard to confirm it was marijuana. Uh, subsequent to that, uh, made a search of the residence, discovered the stolen items, and were able to identify those as the items that were reported by Mr. Townsend. So you were in possession of these items? Yes, sir. And were growing some marijuana? Yes, sir. Okay. At this time, I accept your plea and judge you guilty. You'll be on each 
Class C and D felony were sentenced to 36 months in the Arkansas Department of Corrections, followed by 36 months suspended imposition of sentence on each misdemeanor since 12 months in the county jail. Be fined $50. You'll pay $1,575 on the paper stay ordinance, a $250 DNA fee, a $125 drug fee, a $20 booking fee, $200 in cost, restitution of $2,706.72. To Mr. Townsend, and restitution of $23,414.58 to State Farm Insurance, joint and several. Pay what you owe at a minimum rate of $100 per month beginning within 60 days after your release. Be remanded to custody of the sheriff. Macy Paxton is it? Macy Paxton out of Newton County, 17-68. She's here, Your Honor. It's a drug case. She's made an application, I believe. Office to represent you. How does she plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Way before we the information. Okay. And Judge, this case is before Judge Webb. And he'll be in uh, Jasper at the Newton County Courthouse on March 21st. Or, or will he be there that date? I think she wants the April 8th. April 4th. April 4th. At what time? Do you know? She did not tell me that. Okay. I think one thirty. Okay, we'll stay in contact with your lawyer to see what time you're going to be to have to be there. Is he here, Nathan Ricketts? Okay. Well, I'll have you appear on the Newton County, Newton County Courthouse on April 11th at 10 o'clock. April 11th? 10 o'clock. Okay. I have made application for the public. Okay. Yeah, Judge Fargo, go ahead. What do you work at? Uh, Self-employment, contract labor, but I do draw disability as well. And I have a 1704 monthly balance on that. But I try to supplement my income monthly with my self-employment as much as I can work. And it's usually right around just a couple hundred bucks. Point the public defender's office to represent you so you can talk with somebody from their office before we can be up here in court next time. Okay, thank you, Art. Thank you. Freddie Beardsley, 92 <coughs> 272. Uh, this is a show cause of monitoring Mr. Beardsley's payments on a Outstanding monetary obligation in a fairly old case. Uh, I can report to the court that uh, Mr. Beardsley is continuing to make payments. Uh, who who, re who represents you on this, sir? Nobody. Okay. Is he steady on his payment? Well, he's steady on the amount. We're just not coming every month like I would like to see. What's he paying? 
He's paying $100 per month, but it looks like the last time he made a payment was in August. August? Yes, sir. It shows first three payments and everything's up to date on it. In some months it don't show. Oh, hang on here a second. Judge, I stand corrected. They sent me an updated ledger sheet. Uh, okay. He has made he made two one hundred dollar payments in September, another one in December, another one in January, February, and March. So it looks like uh, he's continuing to pay it consistently at one hundred dollars per month. Your Honor, the only payment I'm missing is in May and November. That's when I pay my auto insurance. We I mentioned this to you in the past. That's the only time I miss is when my auto insurance is due. I'm back on September 21st, 10 o'clock. September 21st? Yep. Okay, thank you, sir. State versus Joshua Brazel, 17181, sexual assault. Uh, this case is going to proceed to trial. My client does appear today. I've uh, I've spoke with the state on this matter. Your Honor, I have uh, court on the second and third. The state was okay with taking this up on the fourth or the fifth of April. So you will take it up on the fourth, you said? As long as it's within our trial period, I'm fine, Your Honor. It, oh, we have the whole week. Okay, third, sixth, seventh, or the fourth, Your Honor. Okay, fourth it is. I was going to try to hire a lawyer to do it. Sorry? I was going to try and hire a lawyer. Yeah. Well, you better, better get after it because you got a trial coming up soon. State versus Kyle Claiborne, 18 59, possession of controlled substance, paraphernalia, other charges. Judge, my notes reflect he, we've been appointed and reflects he's here for the purpose of arraignment with the way of a formal read of the information and a plea of not guilty. Very well. And if we haven't already, we'll issue a scheduling order. Ready to go, sir. All right, thank you. 17-249, James Rawls, intercepting and recording, and 17-307, rape case. <coughs> Thing to be done in these cases, uh, Your Honor. I think uh, Wes and I have been communicating fairly well. I provided him some discovery in response to his discovery request. Uh, I've made a additional discovery request. He's got an objection to it. I think that we can work it out if you can talk to us in chambers and give us a little bit of guidance. I think that he may have some merit to some of his objection, but. At the same time, I think I probably am entitled to part of what I'm asking for. Um, we'll recall the case. In Court on TKOA Television is brought to you in part by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138.